Hey guys, welcome back to Urban Bars, the reaction channel that brings you hip hop reactions from around the world. Guys, my first passion is actually old school hip hop and hip hop from the golden era. So tonight I'm going to kick off with a new section for Urban Bars. And that's a section where I will be reacting to some of my favorite cuts and tracks and artists from the old school. And one of my favorite cats and artists, you can call him a cat, I suppose, has always been Cool G Rap. And one of my favorite tracks, or actually my favorite track, is Jive Talk. G Rap is the precursor to all of your current favorite MCs and rappers who are gripping the stick right now. And there's no better cut to show that, to show why he is, than Jive Talk. <sighs> to see how creative he was way, way back in the days, because Jive Talk is a lyrical masterpiece, people. So sit back and enjoy and listen to Jive Talk. In my opinion, like Cool G Rap, he's got the Big Daddy Kane kind of flow there as well, but just a lot more wicked, if you can say that. I mean, <laughs> the wordplay, the interplay, the interjections of the words that he puts in from the bars are just incredible, incredible. And if you looked at that, I don't know, how many bars was that? Was that 32 bars? Was it six, 60, 64 bars? I'm not sure I need to count those bars, but he was just rhyming his ass off, guys. And when when you look at Cool G Rap, the guy was way ahead of his time because that's like a fast rap as well. But if you look at how the lyrical masterpiece, you know, I call him an artisan, like how he constructed those, the wordplay was just incredible. I mean, if we go back a little bit, just have a have have a look, see some of the elite like athletes slamming examine what I'm jamming hey so you see here it's like yes I'm trespassing your ass I'm harassing hmm <laughs> talk is cheap I'm keeping you six feet deep so don't sleep when I creep you leap like athletes so you can see all the all the all the syllabic, syllabic, syllabic how, how the rhymes just keep going on each interchangeable syllable slamming examine what i'm jamming <laughs> hey i don't play i'm like a gamma ray labeled prey play to pave the way suckers are scared straight i mean in 8990 not many mcs were rapping in that style you know i mean like today um, you could say that's an everyday kind of thing now but in 8990 we're talking over 30 years ago that wasn't and <laughs> They weren't just words thrown in just to make up a, a rhyme. They actually meant something, which is just in incredible. Let's carry on. I don't play a burn like a gamma ray. Lay for play. Play the bait and wait. Motherfuckers scare straight. So 
So those sort of sounds there as well, I mean, I don't even know what the word is, you know, they're actually fills, but I call that scatting. So you can hear them scatting, that's, that's where you scat, like say for instance with the snares, or you put other sort of sounds into there, the sort of things, you know, but I love that on this beat and I actually love this tune. It is so funky. There's elements of blues in it as well. There's elements of, of, of jazz as well. It's just an awesome tune put together by DJ Polo. So before they kick into verse two as well, I am not certain if this was actually a written rhyme or if this was done as a freestyle or if this was actually just done straight off the top of the dome. I mean, he's just rapping and <laughs> he's rapping his butt off guys. It's incredible. <laughs> MCs or wannabe Canes and Chuck D's, Skis, FGs, Rock, Shantays, K's, LMNOPs, hit the backs of my reeds, facsimiles. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Can you believe, right, 89, 1990. So he's dropping the names of some of the top MCs. So Rock Shantae's is Roxanne Shantae. She's the flyest female MC. I mean, she's the best MC <laughs> female probably that there's ever been. Roxanne Shantae. Oh, but he's knocking at people trying to imitate <laughs> Big Daddy, Kane, Chuck D from Public Enemy. <laughs> but it's the rhyme with the FGs, the alphabets, K's. L M N O P, so K L M N O P. That's from the alphabet. Hit the back of my reeds, the reeds you hear in like um, your um, is it flutes and stuff. <laughs> Facsimiles, your copies, and then he says freeze, just stop, catch the wave later. Rapper's got the alphabet, but I'm an alpha beta. <laughs> stop capper. So <laughs> these are like the Greek letters of the alphabet, but also these are the places like when I used to go to the American um, universities, like um, Adelphi University and stuff like that, you, you, you have the, 
sororities which are the sisters and the fraternities which are the brothers you 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 know that they're down with each other you know so rappers and they form my alumni which is the people who graduated from university i mean this guy was knocking this stuff in 1989 1990 trust me this guy was well ahead of his time this is why guys i want to do the old school stuff for you the old school section i'm going to be breaking down some old school cuts for you guys and you will see rappers in the 70s i think like 78 79 in the 80s 84 we're talking grandmaster flash and stuff like that there would be cuts that'd be knocking to you <laughs> they were far ahead of their time guys <laughs> you need to know this because i know a lot of people are saying eminem you know this that and the third whatever Yes, but Eminem will tell you these are the guys that he got it from. Trust me, you need to pay pay your respects and pay your dues to the old school people. Anyway, so <laughs> that's just a fraction of what this guy did. I just can't get over it. Your MCs all wanna be Canes and Chuck D's, Skis, F's, G's, Rock Shantays, K's, Elemental P's. Hit the backs of my reads, facsimiles, freeze, catch the wave later. Rappers got the alphabet, but I'm an alpha beta. Kappa, rappers, they form my alumni. Step to this if you're prejudiced, peace. <laughs> <laughs> So these are the places I used to go to. I used to go on campus. I used to go to these like Adelphi University in, in, in New York. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Let me just finish this off. Sorry guys, I just went off one. Guys, that was Cool G Rap and that was Jive Talk. So jive, when you when you talk with jive, you're just talking a lot of nonsense. Sometimes you're just talking for, you know, for, to catch bait, you know, you, you're talking for clout, etc. blah, blah, blah. But trust me, and that album, Want the Dead or Alive, was something else as well. So I'll just tell you a little short bit about that. So that was 1989, 90 time as well. And that, in my opinion, was the first hip hop concept album on a gangster theme. And when I say the gangster theme, so when you look at, say, for instance, The Godfather, and you look at things like um, Al Pacino, etc., and um, when he did things like um, Donny, um, was it? Yeah, he wasn't Donny Brasco, but it's not Donny Brasco I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of the other one he did, um, Carlito's Way, etc. So you've actually got a film attic theme of an album here. And so um, Once a Dead or Alive, it had all the Italian character names, like your Don Corleone's, etc. But also the theme of the songs, you had, um, you know, this guy worked for, for the mob. I won't say the mafia, he worked for the mob, but he's trying to get away from the mob. He nicked money and potentially drugs as well from the mob. But then, you know, you follow his story through the whole concept of the album, of how he's he tries to get away from them off how they chase him what he has to do to escape and live on his wits as well so you've got cuts like um streets of new york wanted dead or alive and of course you have um, drive talks on there that's a little bit of a foray away from that but then you have things like talk like sex absolutely brilliant cut on that so guys check out wanted dead or alive it's, it's a great album but that in my opinion was like the precursor to all your the hip hop and um, the hip hop marriage with the 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 mafioso type of stuff, the Wu Gambinos and all that sort of blah 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 blah. So that was um, yeah, Cool G Rap, DJ Polo. They were the first to do that, and they did it in such style, such style. It was cinematic, thematic, and then from from listening to Cool G Rap and DJ Polo, then you went from the East Coast to the West Coast. You had people like MC8. You listened to MC8 stuff. And I, I followed MCA for a long time. So MCA and who else? Um, King T as well. You know, he's trifling, etc. And then you had people um, for, from, from the West Coast. I, I keep going into them, you know, like too short, blah, 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 blah. They started doing sort of concept albums as well. But MCA started doing film attic themed albums. So his music was, was, was like a, a film musical themescape on that. But listen, I can go so much into hip hop. I can go so much into so many different levels of hip hop, you know, for you. But at the moment, I'm I'm just listening to Jive Talk, Cool G Rap. So guys, um, yeah, I can go on for hours about this. So just stop me, please. <laughs> trust me, trust me. East Coast, West Coast, New York, whatever, London, UK, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I've been there, done it, got the T-shirt. Anyway, but on this one, please, Jive Talk. I don't even know, was it 64 bars? Was it more, 128 bars? I don't know, the guy went on and on and on. Each line, each 
bar you can break down and you just know that every single syllable <laughs> the guy's an artisan of what he does cool g rap every rapper's favorite rapper trust me but please like and subscribe please like and subscribe tell all your friends urban bars is where you not only get your reactions to the songs but you get some backstory as well <laughs> trust me guys please like and subscribe and share with your friends urban bars and i'd just like to say thank you for listening thank you for tuning in thank you for subscribing to me as well guys i really appreciate it and please have a great day take care of yourselves and thank you thank you